All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Summer 44. So today, guys, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League. We're gonna be doing our predictions, guys. Our predictions, predictions, guys. And so it's gonna be very, very interesting to see how this pans out, guys. Let's see how many can get right at the six. And like I said, guys, if you want to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Comment below your thoughts, comment section below. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the predictions. So let's start with the first game, which you have here, guys. It is the Milan Derby, guys. Um, let me just um, make the screen a little bigger for you guys. It feels a little small. There we go. I think this is good. Good, good. Okay. So, the interesting news that I think Rafael Leal will be back for the second leg. It will be interesting to see whether or not he's going to be fully fit. Obviously, I do think he's going to take part in the game, though. And, like I said, man, for Inter, you know, the only real injury they have is Scrinio, you know? Um, I, I feel like for me in this game, Inter will be very defensive. I don't think Inter will be as like free flow and attack minded as they were in the first league since they ha are in a comfortable position. Whereas Milan have to simply go for it. And you know, I just feel as though the issue with Milan is like, like I said before, guys, they just don't score enough goals. And so for me, I'm just going to go with the draw. I'm going to go with the 1-1 one -one draw, guys. I could see Milan getting a result here, maybe 2-1 potentially, but even if they win 2-1, it's not going to be enough because Inter is going to win 3-2 in aggregate. So... I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw. I think it's a safe prediction. And I'm going to go with... Who's going to score first? Mm, I think I'm going to go with... Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to go with Milan to score first. But I think Inter will equalize. Or do I go with Inter? You know what? I'm going to say Inter. I think Inter will equalize. I, I think Inter will take the lead and Milan will equalize. And the player of the match, this is really difficult to call... I think it's going to be Jacko. Well, no. I mean, it happened the first leg, so... Mm, uh, it feels a bit too predictable. I'll say Chalanahu. I think he's going to have a really good job in the midfield. He might just score a goal as well. So, yeah, I'm going to go Chalanahu. Then Manchester City versus Real Madrid. Uh, for this one, guys, I think it's going to be very interesting to see how Manchester City do. I think the key for Real Madrid to advance, guys, is Karim Benzema. Will Benzema turn up in this game? Because for me, if Benzema doesn't turn up, I don't think Real Madrid is going to advance. And for Manchester City, they just have everything what it takes. They have the home crowd support. They have the home field advantage. They have the Etihad as well. They're coming off a big win against Everton. 3-0 win. Um, and so let's see how they do in this game. And I feel like for me, the thing with Manchester is that if they can score in the first half, then I think they'll advance. If they don't, then I think Real Madrid might advance. So I'm going to say Manchester City will win two goals to one, possibly 3-1. But I'm going to say 2-1. And I'm going to play... My booster for this one, guys. I'm pretty confident that Manchester City will do this. And I'm going to go KDB. I think KDB will have a magnificent game in the midfield. And I think I'm going to play my booster for this one. Maybe also, you know, I think I'm going to actually play my booster than this one. I'm more confident in this one. So, because I don't believe Milan will make a comeback. Now, let's go ahead and go on to the Europa League. Of course, I'll leave the predictor links in the description below if you guys want to participate and everything. So, let's start with the next. We'll get the next one, guys. Leverkusen Roma. For me, guys, I'm going to go with the draw. I feel like for me, Roma, they're just putting everything for a text to the Europa League. I mean, they lost in the, um, um, what is it called, in the Serie A to, uh, sorry, they tied to Bologna. So you can clearly tell that Mourinho just doesn't really care about the um, the Scudetto anymore. Like, he's just going all in for the Europa League. And for Leverkusen, man, do they have what it takes? Um, so I feel like for me, I'm going to go with a draw. I think a draw is a safe pick here. I just feel like for me, Roma, for me, are just clinical, whereas Leverkusen are just simply not and they created a lot of chances, oh, Lever Leverkusen, just that Roma have that difference maker, whereas Leverkusen simply don't. They don't have anyone the class of Dybella, and I think Dybella will actually score in this game. I think he's going to be hopefully fully fit, um, or actually maybe I might go with uh, Tammy Abraham. I might go with him, actually. I'm going to change it to Tammy Abraham. Next is Sevilla versus Juventus. Um, Juventus, man, they put themselves in a really bad position, man. Juventus put themselves in a really bad position, them, losing the, um, them tying the first leg. And I just saw the news that Pogba is out. I mean, it's ridiculous, man. Paul Pogba, man. He just came back from injury. Uh, he, he just came back. He just, he's, he's finally playing a game. He got injured. Like, it's just it's just not not working for Juventus. I just don't see how uh, so I just don't see how Juventus can score, guys. I just don't really see they have that goal score in the team. You know, I feel like Sevilla, for me, they have the home crowd advantage. Ramos Sanchez is a fortress. And I feel like Sevilla's going to do this, guys. I think Sevilla's going to do this. Very narrowly, though, I'm going to go with the 2-1 win for Sevilla. I think Sevilla will score first in this game. Um, and obviously, end Nazir, man. End Nazir, he's the guy for the job. I do think Juventus will get one back. I have a feeling Sevilla will be in a good position, and then Juventus will score a goal in the second half. Whereas, like, let's say Sevilla scores two goals in the first half. And so, 
That's why I think Juventus will miss out. So I'm going to go Sevilla versus Roma as my final. And then next up, it is the Conference League. Conference League, guys. So we got five minutes and seven seconds. Okay, let's go to the Conference League. Um, okay. AZ Alkmaar versus West Ham. I'm going to play a draw. Um, I think for me, uh, West Ham are looking good. They did lose to Brentford, though. But I think, like I said, man, West Ham just have too much quality. And I think um, they'll just get it done. I think for AZ Alkmaar, man, they just don't have that. They need Pavel at least to turn up. If he can turn up in this game, I think he'll do it. So I'm going to go with West Ham to score first. I'm going to go with... Who's going to score? I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with Mikel Antonio. I think Mikel Antonio will give them the the, uh, the lead. And yeah. And next up, it is... Um, Fiorentina versus Basel. This is a very interesting one. Now, I'm not really sure who's... Uh, because the thing is, guys... I think the thing is... I think... I'm not sure about Basel, guys. I'm not sure about them. Because they just got thrashed this weekend. They got thrashed. So, because my issue with Basel is that... They're coming into this one having won the first leg. And they've always never won the first leg. They've always made it through in the second leg. So, will it actually happen... Guys, I still think Fiorentina have what it takes. I still think Fiorentina have enough quality. And I just feel like Fiorentina, for me, they should be able to do this. I think if Fiorentina can score two goals the first half, then I think Basel cannot come back. So, the thing is, though, Basel just need a draw. A draw will be good enough for them to advance. So, I'm going to say this now. I think... Something tells me it's going to be very weird. I have a feeling Basel will take the lead... But I think Fiorentina will score three. And I think this is going to go to extra time. And I think Basel will actually nearly do it. But I think Fiorentina will catch them off guard. And I think we're going to see a comeback in this one. And of course, John Kevin Augusti, I'm going to go for him to score the goal. Uh, maybe he's a carry. I might go with him. But you know what? I'm going to go with John Kevin Augusti. Or actually, yeah. You know what? I'll go with him. I'll go with him. I'll go with him. So let's see what happens, man. Like I said, guys, it should be very interesting, guys. So let me know your predictions, comments below, guys. Like, subscribe, and enjoy. Subscribe if you're new out here. Comment below your thoughts, comment section below, guys. And remember, guys, uh, check out my other podcast description below. Consider becoming a member of the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Oh, yeah, actually, before I go, man, let me play my booster. I'm confident with this one, guys. Wazy and West Ham. I'm confident with this. I'm going to do my booster for that one. So, like I said, guys, do all that um, stuff. And you guys know what to do if you made it this far. So, please do that. And yeah, like I said, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.